Yo, it's your girl Jen and Anessa. Some people, select few people, have asked me to film makeup content and I don't know why because there is no shortage of makeup content on the internet but I'm doing it anyway so I don't know, it might be helpful if you look like me or have the same features or skin type or whatever This actually works out perfectly because I have a bunch of new products that I haven't opened and I want to try and I opened one of them yesterday and yeah, so I totally lost all the footage of me trying to show you just how drying the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer with a matte finish is. I put this under my one size setting powder underneath my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I know all these are really mattifying products, but it started creasing underneath my eyes and that never happens when I use my Fenty Pro Filter concealer. Also, the e.l.f. matte one that I used yesterday was way too light for my skin, so I ended up over bronzing and it just looked flat and incorrect, so... I'm going to try the other shade today. Hopefully it matches better, it looks a tiny bit darker, and it's closer to the, the existing Fenty one that I use. Ooh, also, I'm trying the NARS blush in Thrill, which has been sold out everywhere thanks to TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. We'll see if this is less creasy, less drying. Closer to my skin tone. <laughs> oh. Hmm. This is matte, the one I used yesterday. That's why it looked so dry. I'm dumb. This is satin. It'll be better. <laughs> the one size setting powder. Everyone loves it. It works. So first, skinny side of a tiny sponge down the nose. I'm just putting it on the highlights of my face to Make everything flawless and poreless and like you're not a real human. We love that. While that's setting or baking, we do the eyes. Oh, medium shade. Medium transition shade. A darker shade for the crease. For the fake a crease, whatever. I don't like wearing liquid winged liner if I'm not like heavy beat so I do sort of do the dark shadow in a cat eye shape like a kitten eye just to snatch it back you know light shade to highlight the convex parts of your eyeball you try not to smile because it'll crease the powder setting I feel like a freak I've definitely done my makeup obviously in front of friends and stuff and it's hard not to smile and I'm like actually I, I feel so weird because then they're trying to make you laugh and I'm just sitting there like <laughs> highlighting shade under the brow bone inner corners I look so freaky in that monitor oh my god this should be the thumbnail is that good okay Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil and perversion it's a very smudgy Highlighter. It's not waterproof, is it? I use two mascaras. One to separate the lashes and add volume. Urban Decay Perversion and the L'Oreal Telescopic one to add length and the spidery ones at the end because it's a skinny, it's a skinny applicator, so you'll see. I don't curl my lashes because my Asian lashes are, like, they don't even stay curled, so what's the point of damaging them? I've learned from experience. And now, we brush it off. And now, we bronze. This just adds gentle warmth. Hopefully I don't overdo it again. I like 
like to do this before setting it with a uh, setting spray because, I don't know, it just melts together. I do blush over the setting spray though so it doesn't interfere with the browns. Trusty, trusty all-nighter. Everyone loves it. I don't know, I might try the Milk Hydro, Hydro Grip if I get it this weekend. Because I realized this one is pretty drying and my skin is super dry in the winter. Almost just used my everyday Rare Beauty blush. But we're gonna try this, how exciting. Okay, you ready? Oh. Oh, it's a skinny legend. Wow, it's, wow, listen. Wow, 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 wow. This is such a beautiful pink, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, it's, hmm. I see why it went viral now. I have been influenced. And now, we highlight. Do an exclamation point down my nose. It's just the buxom full-on gloss or whatever, whatever this is. Ah, yes, wow, beautiful. This is what it looks like. Wait, does it look good? Does it even, <laughs> imagine if it just looked wretched. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll do more of these. Maybe do some experimental looks. This is just the most basic, like, full face but light coverage thing. Takes me about 20 minutes. Experimental looks take, you know, at least an hour and a half because I don't really plan my eyelids that well. Okay, there we go. It's definitely creasing less, but I literally just put this on, so I will update you in a few hours after I have sweat a little bit. Oh, okay. So... I've worn it all day. I haven't sweat, obviously. It's to minus 20 in Toronto. I've worn a mask over it outside. How does it look? Is it creasy? Hold on, oh my god, it's so close. Nothing looks good up close. Okay. My verdict is that it feels way more hydrated than yesterday when I used the matte one. So, so this one's pretty good. And as for the blush, I mean, I, I think I could've put more. I'm kind of scared because it looked clowny yesterday. I could put more. Looks cute. It's pretty light. I'm gonna work out now and show you the sweaty results. Actually, should I? Can I just take it off? Yeah, I'm taking it off. You're not getting the results. <laughs> Don't wear face makeup when you work out, okay? Just, just, okay. Just, okay. <laughs>